It is currently 7.45 a.m. I've already hit snooze one time. We've got an exciting day planned. I'm about to get up, get ready, go to the gym, and then head out to go to Ikea today. I've been so excited all week for this. I'm gonna go pick up my friend Alex and we're gonna hit some legs at the gym and then be off on our adventure today. So let's go get ready. Okay, makeup is done. I've got about 10 minutes before I have to head out and pick up Alex. So I'm just gonna pop into my workout clothes and then be on the way. So here is my outfit for the gym. Just rocking a black top and some leggings. I'm already late, so let's go. Okay guys, we just got finished at the gym. We got some shakes, but we do want to hit up Tim Hortons so we can get some actual caffeine and food, and, food, and then we'll be on the road. obsessed with this plant stand. I'm actually gonna grab this maybe, but this is what we're here for. The beautiful pegboard. So it says it comes in three different sizes. This looks all right though, like even vertically, if I put this vertically beside my setup, I think it might be the vibe. Even this bedspread is super cute. Like I'm an all white girly, but I, feel like I respect color in, I'm all white. Yeah, we're the same. We're don't pretty much out. twins. Don't take that out of context. I, I <laughs> Us fantasizing about owning our own kitchen one day. Ooh. One day, 40 years. <laughs> Maybe right. never. The state of the economy. I want a candle. I think I'll probably pick up this one. Maybe this one? It smells good, but like, I don't know about the color. So I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm trying to decide between this white it's kind of textured i like the wrinkled look but on purpose if that makes sense but there also is this one over here which has these nice little pulls in it or like gathers or do i go crazy and get some floral ones for spring vibes what do we think i think the spring vibes really it's so cute. It is cute. I would pink. Pink or green sheets. Okay, I know for sure I'm gonna grab pink sheets and pillowcases. I'm torn. I'm torn between these two. Between white and the green? Yeah. The green will be lovely for summer. And with the pink, I like this. That. Or pink and white. What do we decide on? I think we're gonna go with this combo. Gorgeous. Nice for spring. Yes. Okay. okay, now we just need pillowcases, which so, I think might be over here. Come on. Two pack. That's perfect. So my yeah, sleeping ones and then decorative yeah. ones yeah. get there. You go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I think the second half of this video is gonna be me moving my room around and resetting it with all my new stuff. So I'm super excited. What is this? It's like a pad so you don't kiss the bed. You need that. You need that. <laughs> That's actually juicy. That's got some mm. Mm. That much? does feel soft. $99! You're joking. 
Where are the cheap ones? <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> you spend half your life sleeping. Mm -hmm. I think it makes sense to splurge on a good night's sleep. No? I don't think any good nights... $200? I don't think any good night's sleep is worth $119. <laughs> I'd rather just sleep on the floor. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll go to Walmart for those. Yeah, I also need a duvet. Two hundred dollars. Feel it. This shit is like a cloud. Like, oh, that, that is amazing. That. I would spend two hundred dollars to sleep on that. Okay, work, queen. Now they're getting not as fluffy. That's <sighs> the thing. But like that almost feels like it breathes more. I know. I don't understand it. You just get a $200 toupee. <laughs> oh, this one's what? $9. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. It's like ins <laughs> it's insulation. Nine dollars versus the $200 one. Let's look at that one again. It literally says cream of the crop. I feel like I'd overheat in that. Like crack the window? What am I doing now? No, $200 toupee? What's that, that point? the one that we just looked at? Pajala Ranganika. It's the same thing, though, same name. Great, where's the price on this one? Oh, I see. 119. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm getting it. The Pajala Ranika. The goods are secured. So you so, went with the green? Yeah. The duvet pink. and the cover, and then my bed sheets. Yep. Oh! We found it. So the board itself is only 19. That's a sleigh. I think I want one bigger than this, so. The largest one is maybe actually a bit too large, so I'm gonna start with this one. If I have to get in that second one eventually, like, that's fine. I've built my board. I've got three of the cups, a metal one, a couple of pegs and things, and a shelf. Alex got one too. I got a bunch of these. For she my... got the massive size. I got the big one because it's going to be behind me in my yeah. setup. And I'm going to get these clear containers to put my keyboard um, switches in it. So nice. So I have a bunch of those. And then I'm going to have these hooks so I can put my keyboards on display. And then I'm going to have one of these nice little shelves to put a hanging plant on. Love it. Fine. 300. Let's see if I can beat it. We're celebrating spending almost a thousand dollars together at IKEA with two veggie dogs and some ice cream. Okay guys, it is the next day. I got home after IKEA and was able to muster up the strength to wash my bed sheets and put them on my bed and then I passed out. Part two of this video is going to be me rearranging my room and then setting up the things that I got at IKEA yesterday. So, the plan is take this desk and move it to this wall so that I can get the natural light from the window to hit my desk. I just don't like, I don't know if camera really shows it, but how dark it kind of gets in this corner. So, behind here will be lovely. And then this will move to take its spot. Bear with me as I try and move these both myself. Cue the time lapse. Watching this back is so funny to me because of how I chose to move my desk. I didn't want to take my monitors off because it would have been way too much work, so I did this weird little shuffle, but hey, it worked. So now I'm going to remove all the items from this shelf and take that down so my mirror can go in this corner. Then I'm going to get started on the desk portion where I'm going to put my pegboard up here, how I want to organize that, and then get this pile of gross cables put away and looking nice. This is definitely my favorite part of the process, organizing how I'd like my pegboard to look and what I want to show off on it. So at the bottom cups, I've just got a few of my Switch and Game Boy accessories there. The top hook was perfect for my AirPod Maxes, and then of course, a couple plants. And here's the final look. I'm obsessed, it's perfect. Next, I decided to set up my plant stand.
The instructions were kind of intimidating at first, but I was able to quickly catch on to what the process was. Maybe took about 20 minutes total, and I love how it came out. And here's the final look with a couple plants that I picked for it. I think it looks so, so cute. Definitely glad I picked it up. And last but not least, I started to set up the candles I bought, remove the packaging, and figure out where I think they would look best in my room. This bubbly one is so, so cute. I definitely want to reuse this jar when it's done. And here's the final look at my desk in its new spot with my new pegboard. So, so happy with it. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to support me by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already.